Now at noon, ordered released. Convicted killer Brendan Dassey still locked up this afternoon, but his lawyer and family optimistic that he will soon be out. Dassey was sentenced to life in prison after he confessed to helping his uncle Stephen Avery kill Teresa Halbach in Manitowoc County back in 2005. Pete Zervakis is live in Columbia County this afternoon where Dassey is still being held. Pete? Vince, as you mentioned, Brendan Dassey remains behind bars here at Columbia Correctional Institution. Before he can be released, he has to give probation officers a future address where he'll be staying, and the deadline to do that has just passed. It was at noon today. Now, one family member told me he's hopeful that Dassey could be released later today. Spoke to him within the last hour, but his attorneys have not said anything to that effect. The same federal judge who previously tossed out Dassey's conviction, saying that his confession to police was coerced, ruled just this week that he can leave prison as the state appeals that decision on his conviction. The attorney general has also filed an emergency order hoping to block Dassey's release. As of this afternoon, the AG's office has not provided any updates on the status of that order. Now, should Dassey leave prison, his attorneys have indicated the plan is for him to move into a family-owned trailer in northern Wisconsin before eventually transitioning into an apartment in Brown County. His attorneys have said they're hoping that he will be home by Thanksgiving. Live in Portage, Pete Slervakis, today's TMJ4. All right, Pete, thank you. And here's how the Dassey case unfolded. He was convicted of murdering Teresa Halbach on April 25th, 2007. Dassey sentenced to life in prison on June 1st of 2007. In December of 2015, Making a Murderer premiered on Netflix. And then August 12th of this year, a judge threw out Dassey's conviction, saying that investigators had coerced his confession. The attorney for Dassey's uncle, Stephen Avery, has filed a motion for new tests on forensic evidence. Kathleen Zellner says that will prove Avery's innocence. Now, Zellner recently tweeted that an agreement between she and prosecutors had been reached over which tests can be done. Those details have not yet been publicly released. For continuing coverage on the Brendan Dassey case, you can head to our website. All our work is up there at TMJ4.com.